Cindy, uh, as of right now, we still have some light snow falling through the area. It's starting to break up over the Cumberland Plateau where our two reporters are. Let's take a look right now at our snow machine. And again, the light snow out over the ridge just to the west and north of Pikeville, all the way down to about uh, just south of Cagle Mountain, all the way to Dunlap. Could be some flurry still left over up towards uh, Cagle Mountain. Grundy County, a lot of the snow has dropped down to the south. There's another patch further off to the north. Uh, could move that way though. And the heaviest snow seems to be right now, and it's not that heavy, out over Sand Mountain in Alabama, and right over Hamilton County, southern Hamilton County, north part of Georgia too. Uh, so far, the snow mounts are pretty interesting. Let's uh, check them out here. Uh, from the estimates from the radar, the heaviest stuff has been the western part of Van Buren County with up to three and up to four inches of snow in the northern part of Grundy County out near Monego, it's indicating about uh, three inches or so. These are estimates again. And then a good two to three inches of snow has fallen out over uh, the ridge over Sequatchie County, out over Walden's Ridge to about Signal Mountain, which has had about uh, two inches of snow. And then out over Sand Mountain, a good two inches. Parts of Lookout Mountain have had a good one to two inches of snow also. And there's a little patch of snow that's already fallen out over the Blue Ridge Mountains of Georgia and into North Carolina and out near Polk County too. But not that much, only about a quarter of an inch so far. North of Athens, about a half inch of snow. Dayton, about a half inch of snow too. Again, these are estimates. So it hasn't been as bad as it could have been, but it's pretty close to what we forecast. These are the final amounts, I think, less than an inch to almost two inches in some of the higher elevations out in the, uh, the valley areas, two to five inches uh, further out into the plateau areas and maybe into the Blue Ridge Mountains also, a good two to five inches. For more information on what we can expect in the days ahead, Paul Barris has the answers for you. He has the answers to everything. I asked him why it was worse in the morning. Well, there's an inversion okay. at what happens when the wind dies down and the cool air just sinks down to the lowest part and there's a cap that goes up like temperatures were in the 40s this morning up on lookout mountain while it was down in the 30s down in the valley so everything gets topsy-turvy everything turns over when sun comes out it heats everything up and and the air disperses a little bit better but that's what happens with that inversion we'll get another inversion tomorrow morning i want to show you some stuff though this is uh, pretty interesting uh, let's take a look at the uh, air quality index again this is coming up for tomorrow in the city uh, the air Quality index should be somewhere in the orange, so we got a code orange, but it's a lot worse out in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Out in North Carolina, Cherokee and Clay County, a code purple. We've never heard that before. That's like Beijing in China. That's how bad it's going to be for tomorrow out in North Carolina. So please take care of yourself out there. All right, the countdown has begun. This is the 26th day in a row of no rain. The record is 39. Uh, days in a row with no rain, anything measurable, anything more a uh, trace of an inch. Uh, and uh, 1935 was the driest on record. So we're going to probably get, uh, my guess is uh, right now we're going to get to about 34, 35 days in a row with no rain. So that's, uh, that's unbelievably dry. So we may even break the record if the situation gets any worse than it is. Hi everybody, uh, we're going to stick with this for about the next 10 minutes. There's a uh, tornado warning still in effect now uh, for the western part of uh, Marion County. Let's uh, pop up uh, to our uh, live radar here. Uh, what we're looking at right now, here's Mon Eagle, here's South Pittsburgh, Kimball, Jasper. Uh, right in this area here, there's a little notch, and I'll, uh, I'll draw that notch for you and so you can see exactly where it is. It's right along I-24. Uh, there was a tornado reported on the ground over uh, earlier on over uh, Jackson County, northern Jackson County, and right over uh, part of Franklin County, too, as it moved over the western part of uh, Marion County. The National Weather Service put out a tornado warning for the western part of Marion County, west of Whit uh, Whitwell, and pretty much uh, north of South Pittsburgh. Uh, Jasper, Kimball, South Pittsburgh, you don't have to worry about this storm, but right along I-24, right where I've got this circle here, that's where the worst of the weather is. This is where the heavy rain, you see all this purple and red and all that, that's where the heavy rain is. It could be some hail with some of this too, but this is where, if there is a tornado, uh, that's where it is now. I'll get rid of this, and uh, we'll go back to, let's see here, because this updates every now and then. What we're looking at is some very, very heavy rain. Let me pop that back up. All right, this is where the notch is, right here. What happens is when you get a hook echo like this, it indicates uh, to meteorologists that there's a spinning uh, going on in the atmosphere. And if that spinning occurs, uh, that you know, holds together for any length of time, that usually indicates there's a tornado. 
and there probably was a tornado with this, at least for a while in Marion County. It's impossible to say whether there's still a tornado on the ground. We have not gotten an official report from anyone of an actual tornado on the ground, but there is the potential, and that's why the Weather Service, until about for about the next seven, uh, nine, uh, eight, nine minutes or so, uh, we're gonna stick with this warning just in case, let everybody know that over Marion County to the north and west of Jasper and Kimball, and well to the south and west of uh, Whitwell, uh, there is a possible tornado uh, on the ground, or at least it's a funnel cloud. We have a brand new tornado warning. They are popping up like, <laughs> this is not good folks, they're popping up like crazy right now. Here's the latest one. We have a tornado warning for central Sequatchie County in eastern Tennessee, south central Bledsoe County in eastern Tennessee, northeastern Hamilton County in eastern Tennessee, and northeastern Marion County in east Tennessee. Well, the one storm that was up in uh, the Athens area has been classified in EF2 with about 130, 135 mile an hour winds. Uh, that's an estimate always, but uh, that's the latest from the National Weather Service. Well, I want to review the showers and the thunderstorms that moved by because the rain was so extraordinary. Uh, we're going to have the reports on the uh, tornadoes that touched down all the severe weather across the Tennessee Valley. But let's check out, see uh, on the radar here, uh, through our radar estimates, uh, how much rain has fallen. And you can see that area in red. It's a swath from Scottsboro to Chattanooga up to Dunlap to Cleveland. The area in purple is where the heaviest rain was from about Athens to Cleveland. And a good six, uh, six and a half inches of rain is possible throughout that purple area, right along between I-75 and US-27. That's where the heaviest rain was. You can see how it was very intense over Alabama, then started spreading out sort of like a fan as it moved up towards Dayton and Athens. And right in that mess, that's where some of the tornadoes touched down too. Now, south of Dalton, especially south of uh, Tunnel Hill, uh, the rain wasn't as heavy, with only about an inch and a half out near Dalton and less than that out all the way to Calhoun and out near uh, uh, Chattooga County and into the Blue Ridge Mountains also. They didn't get that much.